four-day-old kitten was found abandoned in downtown San Jose, California, Jessica Bradshaw took him in. He was so tiny that he couldn't hold his head up completely. He had to be bottle fed. And there was a lot of bonding going on. She nursed the newborn into adulthood and named him Gizmo. And every day when you come home, he comes to greet you at the door. He's just amazing. <laughs> Gizmo loved to play in the bathtub. Want to get dressed? Come on, Gizmo. Let's get dressed. Come on, Gizmo. Go outside. He also liked to prowl in the yard, but because he's blind in one eye, he stayed close to home. Gizmo's always been a very good cat. He can go out in the yard, and he'll stay in the yard. Gizmo! But one day in July of 2000, Gizmo didn't come home. Gizmo! Jessica knew instinctively that Gizmo was gone. Gizmo, where are you? He's never, ever disappeared before. Days later, Gizmo was still missing. Out of desperation, Jessica called a number she'd found at the local animal shelter. It was for the pet hunter, former police officer Kat Albrecht. I used to love being a street cop, but my passion is to hunt missing pets. I went from being a man hunter to a pet hunter. Hi. Hi, I'm Kat. Nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. But could she and AJ find Gizmo? Jessica Bradshaw's cat had been missing for three days now, and the trail was cold. Has he ever disappeared before? No, he stays in the yard. Jessica and her family were pretty distraught. So I knew how important it was to her and to her family uh, that we find her cat. The first step was to learn what we could about Gizmo and his behavior. And we learned about his temperament, the fact that he was blind in one eye, uh, and the fact that he had a small territory. The more Cat knows about Gizmo, the better she's able to predict how the cat will behave now that he's lost. The first thing we did was uh, collected Gizmo's scent and we used a sterile gauze pad and uh, swiped one of his toys. And that way, AJ would know that that was the cat scent that we wanted him to track. And he picked up a scent trail. Uh, he started working around the backyard. Good boy. Search. It was the most amazing thing I'd ever seen. She just said, smell the kitty, find the kitty. That was it. And, and he was ready. AJ took us into the next door neighbor's yard where we checked around. It appeared that he had cat scent in that area. But there's still no sign of the cat. Our hopes were constantly being raised and then dashed. Cat relies on AJ's sensitive nose to lead the way, but adds a few techniques of her own. Using a directional microphone, she listens for Gizmo's cries. If he's trapped somewhere nearby, she'll hear him and hone in on his location. Gizmo! Kitty. It's a team effort between the pet detective and the search dog. Gizmo. But she hears nothing. Cat tries her infrared camera in case Gizmo is trapped under a porch or shed. But still, no Gizmo. I'm not seeing anything. Gizmo. But Cat knows that when high tech fails, she can count on AJ, and it looked like he was onto something. As AJ got closer to the bush, I noticed that he was more intent. His long, pendulous ears kind of perked forward. All of a sudden, AJ stopped and froze in place. And I looked underneath some uh, heavy bushes that were right there. And here was a white cat hissing at AJ. Good boy, good boy. And there was Gizmo, just fully arched back, looked like a Halloween cat and looking right at AJ, and he was terrified. It was amazing, just burst into tears, and just happier than it ever been in my life. It was like magic, really. When we found Gizmo, it was such a joy 
to be able to use AJ, a dog that was once lost and then found. It's more than just a day's work for Kat and her partner AJ, and its rewards are never taken for granted. I'm doing what, what I need to be doing. This is what God made me for. This is what I'm here to do.